Right, so we're gonna take a look at the jams on the Mustang. Got the hood jams done, just did the crunk jams today. And uh, I love when people say, oh man, you can't spray, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I just proved them wrong, it don't matter. That's a lot of angles and stuff to spray right there, trying to get no orange peel in there and stuff, even in the jams, because I'm gonna mask them up. I'll do a back masking method right here. I don't know what that is? It fell in it. Um, I'll pick it out of there once it's all dry. But um, I'll back mask these edges. <clears throat> Took a look at the doors. We did a flow coat on them. So basically, the guys today call this flow coat. All it is is basically your clear, sand it down with 800 or 1200 grit or something, whatever. I didn't have any 800. I like 800, but they gave me uh, the sticky back stuff, and I don't like that stuff very much. So I went ahead and uh, did this with 1200. That'll work too. It's a little more work to do, but uh, you get that nice super shine. And then it just makes it so much easier to polish. And then your corners and stuff will be a little bit less orange peel, you know, smoother. And uh, see that there's pretty much not any orange peel in there. I got a couple pieces of dirt in here, but uh, a bug decided to commit suicide right there. That'll sand out real easy. And uh, one yeah, crash landing right there, it looks like. But well, no big deal. Well, yeah, that's all uh, the Mustang, the latest on it. Got the hood back on. Um, uh, I don't like the way this lines up very good. It's fiberglass, so we're gonna stack some, put a shim underneath the back of it to kind of tilt it up just so that the back's higher so when you lift up the hood it doesn't hit. So we got a couple little things like that we're gonna do before we um, start sanding it, final sand and paint it. Then I got to get the stripes on there, so he gave me the specs for those things. He wants, I probably wants them to be like the original ones, where they came down over the top, and they went down and went all the way to the ground, which looks like shit to me, but it's probably what he wants. But this is the problem I got with it, is he has this, um, I'd rather have them just on the hood and around the top to the back. That'd be it. I would even do them like this I wouldn't I'd put that you know I'd want a curved edge on them that looks a lot better um, but anyway uh, what we'll probably have to do I mean he he wants to probably wants to put them all the way down I haven't looked at the plans what he's got yet but uh, he has that opening for the radiator right here in the bottom and the stripes going through that just aren't gonna work that's just not gonna work so I'm gonna tell him no that's not gonna work so we'll see what he says anyway That'll be the next thing once we get the base coat on there. Uh, anyway, the, everything's ready, looks like to me, except for I gotta check these areas right here. I haven't checked these, check that, make sure it's straight. Uh, no little little waves or dings in it. Cause we're gonna take this thing up to like, uh, you know, I don't, not a full show or anything. We're gonna go to about 80%, 90% show which is above 80% daily driver. So, somewhere in there, but I'm not gonna go to 100%. There's just, I don't have time for that. It's not that much work to get it there from where it was. But anyway, that's the update on the Mustang. Let's take a look here at these doors again. Yep, look pretty good. There's the Mustang. Move it along. About ready, got all the glass out, got all the little spots out of it. There's just a couple little tiny things I gotta fix and then uh, we'll get her painted up, see how it looks. All right, talk to you in the next video.